Digital Day Camp is iBeam's longest running program established in 1998. It's a summer arts and technology intensive for high school students. It challenges youth to apply creative thinking strategies across a whole range of technological tools and topics that are very relevant to our world today. So the workshop Intro to XR or Intro to Extended Reality is taught by one of iBeam's resident artists, Lajene McMillan, um, which stems from their project, the Black Movement Project. The Black Movement Project is an online database of motion capture data and character-based models from black performance artists. I've been working with different black performance artists, interviewing them and learning about their movement practice, and then taking that data to craft an online library space where people can see their movement data using motion capture technology and performance, as well as a tool that people can use to create their own extended reality projects. I wasn't just teaching them about the tools that they were using, um, but we turned the use of those tools into more of a discussion about how the tools are made and how some of these tools may have implicit biases embedded within them. From that, we were able to deconstruct the tools themselves rather than just use them. That's really important because you're able to really learn about the group of people or the person who made the tool. And you can really tell a lot about the tech community as a whole as well because a lot of these problems do pop up in a lot of different areas as well. We were able to also deconstruct the base character, this idea that there is a base that is this able-bodied, slim, white character that pops up in a lot of these different character modeling softwares, um, and basically how that is not representative of um, a community of people, right? So how do you um, think about ways in which maybe we can reach out to this company and talk about that, um, but also think about ways in which maybe we can begin to build tools that are more um, representative of who's really um, in the community. Coming into Digital Day Camp, I didn't really know what to expect. I just assumed to be in a classroom setting where everyone was sitting in rows and just typing on the computer, following along with what the teacher was saying. Um, but I found that it was very, very different. Um, even though we did follow, like, listen to the teacher and follow along with what, what he or she was doing, we were given a lot of time to use what we learned and create something on our own that was like, unique to ourselves and present it to the rest of our class and being able to like bounce ideas off of each other. And so I really appreciated the dynamic learning experience. Each day we were exposed to different types of technology. So for example, one day we learned about alt text, the next day we learned about intro to XR, like augmented reality. Today we're learning about different dance forms and motion capture. And even though we were being introduced to so many different types of technologies, we were constantly being supported in making our projects and presenting them with our peers during the entire learning process. In today's world, there's this sort of like huge barrier between tech community and society as a whole. And it makes it difficult for people to believe that they have agency and that power and strength to be able to um, build these worlds for themselves. So I think that that's why it's really important to uh, use these tools. Um, because once you realize that they're just tools, um, I think that it can really expand your outlook on what can be made and also it can change a lot of the content that's being made as well too.